hello friends welcome to my channel go digit well uh, today the kind of video which i am making is for the business central developers so uh, it's a very uh, small information which i am trying to give you in this video basically uh, i believe every every developer who have actually started working on business central might know about this but uh, for those who does not know still so i just want to give you a very quick update on this so the the topic of the video which i choose today is that how to export and import the licenses in the business central so that uh, we if in case uh, we would like to do any sort of development in visual studio code then uh, we should know the steps through which uh, we could upload our developer license in the business central okay so uh, to do that uh, first of all we have to open up this software termed as uh, administrator business central administration shell okay so this means that i have open up the business central administration shell through administrate administrator okay so once you open the business central administration shell uh, through administrator rights then uh, there are certain uh, commands through which you can do this uh, export and impo import operations so the very first thing is that uh, in case you would just want to know about the current license which is running in your uh, database so for that you could use this command uh, refer as here export hyphen nav server license information okay although the name of this command suggests like this that uh, it is an export it will export your license but uh, the only thing is when you run this command uh, it will give you the results uh, in this format okay so it is not like that it will uh, ask you to provide any path where you will uh, export and save the uh, file of the license but uh, while running while while you run this command you just get an information of the current license which is uh, attached to your database okay so uh, for example when i type this command and press enter the first parameter it asked me is the server instance okay so obviously you must have to provide the server instance uh, on which you just want to know the license information okay as soon as i type this it did not ask me any further information and provided me the results okay so this is the standard uh, license which comes uh, pre installed when you uh, install with the latest version of the business central okay so uh, now the next thing is that uh, uh, we have in case you have come across any situation where you have to do the development uh, using your developer license so for that operation you must have to import your uh, developer license into the system so uh, likewise there is a command just like export there is a command in the powershell which is import hyphen nav server license okay so when you type this command and press enter it first ask you that where exactly your license file is available so this is the parameter which it asked me so i provided the path of my developer license okay so this is the path where my developer license is saved so i provided that path here and when i press enter the second parameter which it asked me is the server instance which means that i have to provide my server instance on which i just want to import my license okay so once i provided that it started importing the license although i get the war warning here that my license my developer license is not compatible with this version of business central because i am running the latest version of the business central which is bc bc17 and the license the developer license which i have currently is of navigation 2016 so that's why it showed me this warning now because as we all know that uh, in order to import any license 
we must have to restart the service okay until and unless we do not restart the service system uh, the impact uh, will not be done in your instance so for that thing i use another command which is restart hyphen nav server instance okay so when i type this and press enter it again asks me the server instance as soon as i uh, provided the server instance it just uh, restart the your server instance and uh, the your license which your developer license which you try to import is successfully done okay so now after this you can do your development uh, part in the business central using your developer license okay after your development work is gets completed you can again import your client license through this import command okay so uh, that's the information which i which i was uh, which i wanted to give you through this video so i hope uh, for those people who don't know about the operations of uh, license import and export in the latest version of the business central uh, might find this video useful okay so thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video i request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much